Hello everyone, my name is Paul Tomayo and it's uh, <laughs> it's weird to start another video like this because usually it's like I turned around or something and sorry to see that bright light, that was my light bulb. But anyways, um, this is an info video I want to talk about. Um, if you know, uh, if you watched or even you just seen my uh, like my picture, like my profile picture for Facebook or or my box files, the picture image called it combination of love which pretty much means all the stuff I'd liked or did like in the past still like it now to some ex uh, exceptions um, they're on there like the logos and all that so um, but anyway the main thing I'm going to talk about is Terraria now I have talked a bunch about Terraria before in my videos mainly in my uh, Shiny Hunter episodes um, it's somewhere in there because <laughs> there's just so many episodes I don't know exactly um, but anyways, the reason why I'm talking about this is that I'm no longer going to be playing Terraria. It's been like this for about a week that I have uh, not played it. Now the reason this is why, you might even stop playing it as well, I don't know. Maybe it's just my luck that this happened to me, because I looked up that this can apparently happen not only to you on single player, but also multiplayer, so yeah, it really sucks that a game like that, such a great game, uh, got screwed over like that. Um, just to tell you, I really, I actually got into hard mode for, it took about a month to pretty much grind all the best stuff that I can get pretty much to to get up to the Moon Lord, which is the boss for the PC, for the computer version. Um, and yeah, I beat the Moon Lord and everything, and I was just grinding. And just out of nowhere, an item just decides to completely disappear from inventory, just to tell you specifically what it was. If you've seen the item, the money trough, which um, drops from blood moon zombies and dripplers and during the blood moon, as a very rare, it's like the rarest item I'm pretty sure you can get from the uh, blood moon in normal mode. Maybe not hard mode, because you know there's like extra stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, so I was just grinding against the Eternia army, just trying to get uh, Betsy's Wrath, because I wanted to have a good, uh, a good... Uh, weapon that always deals a status effect because that one uh, lowered the defense of the enemies uh, for like a, I think 10 seconds but that can, be, that can make all the difference hit an enemy once or that and then go with your main attacking weapon yeah they will probably go down fast so anyway that's what I was doing I was just grinding for um, I was just grinding for stuff so that eventually I would play multiplayer so I was like hey you know what I might as well grind for all the best stuff that I uh, can in hard mode so I was doing that, and then um, I was like, I had the money trough before and after, and I had it in my inventory. Oh, it looks so bright because of the glare. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty good. Um, but anyways, yeah, I was doing that, and then just out of nowhere, when I uh, died, because I have it to soft core to where you won't, don't lose your items or anything when you die. You do, you do lose your money, but you, when you go back to where you died, uh, you should be able to get it all back, because... Uh, uh, well, it's unless you like are smart about storing all your money in your uh, like storage, whatever it is, the Fender's Forge, safe or piggy bank storage. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I knew I had the money trap on me because I summoned it and everything. And then after the battle, when I died, it's never happened to me before. And I played over 300 hours of Terraria. Uh, it just erased. The money trap is just gone. So. If you're wondering why I quit playing Terraria just for a little thing like that, imagine you seeing, you know, that happening to you, and then looking up uh, if it can actually happen, like normally, and like I said, apparently you can, so imagine that happening, and then there's a chance that you can even lose your whole inventory, some people have been saying they have, which really sucks, like in Terraria there is no skills, permanent skills, it's only you, the equipment you have, so when that's gone, you're screwed. You have to start over from the beginning because there's no way. It's it's hard enough uh, playing in hard mode with even the you know the best stuff that you can really get because you can still get really damaged. But um, but anyways, yeah, it's ridiculous. So if there was a whole skill system and stuff like that, and I wouldn't be it wouldn't be the under end of the world if you lost like your items. Um, then I would keep playing, but no, if it's going to do that, then there's no point to even just playing it anymore if it's going to be erasing your items to where it's going to make you start all over again, and then it can happen during that time even, you'll lose your item again, so 
what is the point? I don't see the point at all. So I still have it in my combination of love because I really appreciate the game. I really love the game, and it sucks that it, this thing this happened to me right when I was actually getting finished with hard mode, which I never thought I would ever do, but I just thought I'd give it a try one time because uh, I did try it once like a, a while back, but the, the mimics, they uh, really destroyed me, so I was like, okay, nope, can't do hard mode. <laughs> But no, I did it. I was able to get through all of that, but it sucks. So yeah, don't expect me to really talk any more about it besides this video. So um, yeah, it's too bad. But anyway, that's pretty much for the info video. Um, I guess I might as well, you know, talk to you about stuff I'm going to be doing from now on as well. Obviously, no, you know, uh, if you've seen on my channel the recent videos, the uh, Paul and Samayoi's personal best opinions on Pokemon. Been doing pretty well with that. I'm going to keep up with that, of course, until I've researched every Pokemon. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to be starting a new thing starting today. I'm going to be getting back into streaming. Now, I, I know I still can't, you know, record my gameplay or anything like that. But I'm going to do something that a lot of streamers just do. They just talk, just hang out with chat and everything. So I'm going to try that out uh, for a while, just for good, really. Because uh, I really don't like getting into things like... I know I can easily dance or sing, but I'm not interested in doing that as a like uh, career uh, for entertainment. It's not really interesting to me, in my opinion. But just talking to you all, just like answering, giving you advice and stuff like that. Eventually, when I have like more of you coming into my streams, I'll like talk to you more. But I'll always just start out with just like pretty much talking about my week or my day or something like that. And um, of course, it'll just be an hour, uh, uh, hour once a day. Uh, so yeah, so you can feel free to join like that. Uh, if you're wondering also why my name on Twitch is Mystery in Stamayoi now, and it's not Paul in Stamayoi, um, because there was a problem with Twitch a while ago. Now I believe I still have the info video up about that. Um, so out of nowhere, uh, this happens apparently, it's just a normal thing that happens on Twitch. If you have a maximum number of streams, uh, like say it's about 30 uh, streams saved on your account, uh, if you get any more than that, or whatever the maximum number of streams you have on your account, they'll start deleting the old ones, which really sucks. But I just I deleted my account, my main account for that, the Paul and Stamayoi one. Um, because of that, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just going to delete my stuff because it's not even, there's no record of me doing any of that. So what's the point of doing stuff if it's just going to disappear? But um, my best friend was telling me, because he's a streamer too, um, he was telling me that I can easily just, um, download the whole stream and then like upload it to my YouTube channel so I was like that's genius I don't know why I didn't think of that so I wanted to recreate my account but I guess because if you ever like delete your account for some reason you can't get that name back like I, no one can get Paul and Stamayoi that username back so I was like okay I might as well go to the second one you have mystery and Stamayoi because it's pretty much another version of myself but um yeah I guess it'll just be my name for that but of course, obviously, I'm still Paul to my Yogi. It's just the whole username thing. But, um, yeah, hopefully you don't get confused with that. But, yeah, definitely expect some uh, streaming from now and just talking for now until, of course, I get that stand to where I can, you know, record gameplay and all that and go back to shiny hunting and everything. But until then, I'm just going to have to pretty much do the uh, good old research on Pokemon and all that and, um, and, of course, the chatting and all that. So, yeah. So anyways, I've been your host, Paul Stamayoi, and goodbye. <laughs>